What's up everybody, welcome to Best Massage Tech, where today I'm taking a look at the knuckle. So the knuckle, which is spelled N-U-C-K-L-E, was invented by physical therapist Christine Koth. She's also the inventor of the hip hook, and it was designed specifically to target the muscles responsible for migraines, tension headaches, shoulder pain, neck pain, upper trap pain, jaw pain, rotator cuff issues, and posture problems. And all of those are specifically correlated to your neck, your pec minor, and your upper trap, which is exactly what this was designed to target. Now you see here, this is what the knuckle looks like. Out of the box, it does only come with this and a short little instruction manual. The instruction manual is just a step-by-step -step guide how to target those three specific areas with it, which I'm gonna walk through here in this video, but just wanna start by taking a look at the knuckle itself, which you see it does have a pretty unique shape. Uh, for me personally, it kind of reminds me of a Little Tykes slide, which is like one of the first slides that most little kids get, just in its shape. Uh, that's the first thing it reminded me of, but you'll see it's got a couple different angles on it and distances designed to target those muscles differently. Now this whole thing is made out of hard plastic, so the white part is a hard plastic. The black part is uh, hard plastic as well, but it just has a little bit more of a rubberized feel to it just as a non-slip component. Now specifically, there are three different distances. So you have a wide, a medium, and a narrow. And these are where your muscles are gonna relax, whether it's your neck, your pecs, or your trap, or is gonna rest on these two points. Now it does have two points, and it is a triangle design for a balance standpoint. But with each of these distances, and these very distances, you can really target six different ways to each of your muscles. So if you think of your head laying on this, you can either lay on it this way or this way for every single angle here. So you can go either side. So there's really six different combinations. So I'm gonna start by showing how to use it on your neck, then I'll show how to use it on your pec minor, and then lastly, I'll just talk about how to use it on your upper trap. And then at the end, I'll just give some of my thoughts after using it and uh, my initial you know, reaction to my first use. So they recommend starting with your neck, which is gonna target your suboccipital muscles, which are the tiny muscles at the base of your skull that are responsible for moving your head back and forth and up and down. So I'm gonna start with the wide, and all you do is just set it next to you, put it underneath your skull, right at that base of the, the cranium there, and just lay on it and relax. And you wanna sit here for about 30 to 90 seconds, and if you have a really, really tight muscle in there, it's gonna be pretty uncomfortable for that first 30 seconds. Just take a couple deep breaths, and relax and let your body get comfortable with releasing the tension from that area. And this feels so good on me. I mean, I don't, I couldn't tell you the last time I've had this much pressure on these little tiny muscles there in my neck. And as you get comfortable with it, you can go ahead and switch and rotate around to some of the different distances. So I'll go to the narrow one here. Oh my goodness. It's a good kind of uncomfortable, almost not really painful, but just a lot of tightness being released. And when you're doing this here, it's important. You don't want to be moving around or rocking. You just want to let it hold individually on those muscles. You don't want to be, you know, aggravating your muscles any more than just releasing some of the tension from laying on it. Oh, this feels so good. So go ahead and try the medium one here now or actually this is the narrow, I had the medium there previously, oh my gosh, this is even, oh my, even narrower. I feel like it's just hitting like one little teeny tiny muscle here. Oh. So with this now, remember you can go six different ways with it. So when I had the wide, I could go this way or this way. And you can kind of line it up next to you if you wanna just see how it's gonna be on you first look next to it and then just slide it over and, and get comfortable with it there. So that's your neck. Next, I'll show you the pec minor. Now the next area they recommend targeting with the knuckle is your pec minor. In order to find your pec minor, just put your hand as if you were putting it over your heart and then you take your opposite arm and just pull it down. And that muscle that's kind of right in your fingertips here, you should be able to feel that contracting when you pull your hand down. That muscle is responsible for kind of that shoulder hunch. So if you're having trouble with your head forward and doing this motion with your head and that kind of that arch or that hunch, 
that's what the pec minor is responsible for. So what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna go up against a wall with your knuckle and you can place it right in that spot and push against the wall. You, again, you can use it with any of the different distances. You can use it this way or this way. So I'll show myself up against a wall here just pressing on that. But it's gonna relieve a lot of tension that you have if you're in a position like this and it's really uncomfortable or really difficult for you to bring kind of your posture back to upright position. So you're gonna start by putting the knuckle up against the wall. You can either go vertical or horizontal with it. I'm gonna start horizontal. I'm gonna start with the medium distance. And you just go ahead and lean that part of your pec minor into the knuckle. And the benefit of being against the wall is that you control the pressure. So you can control how aggressive or how gentle you are with it. And you're just gonna get in that one spot and just hold it there. And this feels amazing. I definitely have never targeted this part of my pec before. And you're just gonna hold it here for 30 to 90 seconds. And oh my goodness, it's like one of those hurt so good type of feelings. And with this, you shouldn't feel any sort of tingling sensation in your arm or your hand. If you do, just go ahead and move slightly. It means you're likely probably on a nerve. And I can feel this kind of radiating just all into my pack and even to like the, feels like the center of my shoulder. And go ahead and rotate, try a different part here. I'm gonna use the, the narrower part and get real pinpoint with it. Oh, wow. So you just kind of keep moving around different parts of that until you feel like you've released all that tension in there. And that's how you target the pec minor with the knuckle. And then the last area is your upper trap, which in order to target your upper trap, you need the assistance of a chair or some sort of pole that you can put the knuckle up against. So I'm using a chair leg here. You just lean it up against, kind of insert it in the V portion. And you're gonna just slide back and line it up with your trap and then take your opposite hand and just pull down on the chair leg just to apply that pressure. And this is gonna feel very similar to when someone's kind of squeezing you when they're giving you a back massage, but you can control all the pressure yourself just by pulling or releasing the chair leg. And this feels so good. I can't even describe how much better this feels than having someone squeeze with their hands. I can really pull harder here if I want, if I want more tension. You can go kind of up and down your trap too if you want to slide a little bit or go lower. This feels really good. So that's how you target your upper trap. So that is just a quick look at the knuckle and how to use it. If you're interested in purchasing one of these, it is $99, which does include free shipping. I will put a link in the description to buy one as well as if you use promo code BMT, you do get a little bit of a discount on it here. A couple other pieces of information about it here. It does come in black and orange. I have the black one here, obviously. The orange is kind of like a blaze orange. It is made in the USA. It does come with a 60 day money back guarantee. So if you purchase it and you aren't finding that it is helping you in the way that you hoped it would, you can go ahead and return it and get your money back. It does also come with a one year warranty. So I don't really see how anything on this would necessarily break or go wrong, but it does have that one year warranty. And then for my final thoughts on this, I think similar to the hip hook, this is an awesome tool at targeting those muscles that often go untreated. So for me specifically, I found the most relief in those suboccipital muscles and targeting kind of that area that really hurts a lot from your tech neck and just kind of hanging over your phone. I think it's also really, really awesome for people that have that hunched back, specifically maybe from working from home and not sitting in the best chair for your posture, whether you're sitting on a couch or just hunching over a lot more, getting a little bit more relaxed. I think you've seen a lot more people that sort of have some issues in their upper shoulders while working from home. So using this to target that pec minor and relieve some of that tension so you don't have the uncomfortable feeling when you do try to sit upright. So I think it's just an awesome tool. It's built really well. It's a lot of different angles that you can target with it. If you do have specific questions about this, go ahead and drop it in the comments down below. As always, I'll do my best to answer those. If you did enjoy this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and liking it. Consider subscribing to the channel. I always appreciate those who do as it does help support future videos like this. But otherwise, that is the knuckle. That's a review. Enjoy your recovery.